Tired of the role, in 1946, Basil Rathbone decided not to renew his contract playing Sherlock Holmes on radio's The New Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Writers Dennis Green and Anthony Boucher needed a low-budget summer replacement for it, and they came up with the idea for a San Francisco-based detective show called The Casebook of Gregory Hood. The main character, rather than being a traditional detective, was an antiques expert who encountered crime in his travels while seeking artifacts for his import house. The character was loosely based on real-life importer Richard Gump, who served as a consultant for the program and was even portrayed by Bill Johnstone in the episode South of the Border. Another thing that set Gregory Hood apart from other detective series of the time was that it often used real people, sometimes portrayed by actors, and at other times the person would play themselves. They also used real places and landmarks in the episodes. Cities even flew in the series' writers in order to convince them to write an episode about them. The Casebook of Gregory Hood debuted on the Mutual Broadcasting System, June 3, 1946, occupying the 8.30 p.m. time slot previously held by the New Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. The show's initial format was nearly identical to Sherlock Holmes. The narrator would typically stop by Hood's home or office to hear a story from his casebook. Hood's sidekick friend and lawyer Sanderson, or Sandy, Taylor was often an integral part of the story, much as Holmes' friend Watson was in the Sherlock Holmes stories. The storytelling itself, like Sherlock Holmes, was structured as a frame story, a style well known from its use in the Arabian Nights and in other examples dating back more than 2,000 years. Green and Bosher penned most of the first 26 episodes. However, when Sherlock Holmes was revived that fall, now on ABC and starring Tom Conway, they followed. Ray Buffum took over the writing duties at least until late 1948. Gail Gordon portrayed the role of Gregory Hood in the initial run. When the show was extended past the initial 13 episodes, though, and he needed to return to the Great Gildersleeves, Gordon was replaced by Elliot Lewis. Lewis continued the role while also appearing in or directing several other series at the same time. This continued until the show's move to ABC in 1949. Others to play Hood include Jackson Beck, Paul McGrath, Martin Gable, and George Petrie. Bill Johnstone played Sandy Taylor in the first episode, and then by a few other people before Howard McNear took over the role with the ninth episode, The Forgetful Murderer. McNear continued in the role until at least mid-1949. John McGovern played Taylor in at least the initial ABC episode. The show itself was a success, even exceeding the ratings of Sherlock Holmes. However, in May 1947, it was announced the show was being canceled after 52 episodes, as Petrie Wines was not going to continue its sponsorship of the series due to the collapse of the domestic wine market. In March of 1948, however, Mutual brought the series back, even paying Petrie Wines, who owned the rights to the series, for the privilege of doing so. Initially, the less expensive William Conrad was to play Hood, but Elliot Lewis ended up reprising the role. Gregory Hood continued on the Mutual Network for more than a year before moving to ABC October 15, 1949. It struggled to find an audience there and bounced around the schedule quite a bit before settling into Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. for the first half of 1950 and then Thursday at 8 p.m. thereafter. Again, it was canceled with a final episode airing August 31, 1950. Another attempt was made to revive the show in October 1951, but it appears to have lasted only two episodes. All told, more than 150 episodes of The Casebook of Gregory Hoods were produced. Unfortunately, only a tiny fraction of those is known to exist, less than 20 complete episodes at the time of this article. Information for this article came from the Arthur Conan Doyle Encyclopedia website, arthurconandoyle.com. 
from The Casebook of Gregory Hood, a book by Anthony Bauscher and Dennis Green. From John Dunning's On the Air, the Encyclopedia of Full-Time Radio. From articles from The Courier Journal, The Hollywood Citizen News, and The Valley Times, and from Wikipedia. For old-time radio researchers, I am your announcer, Patrick Andre. Enjoy the show. <laughs> 